So guys, welcome back to Fenrir, and we are joined by the one and only Kendrick for another session. So on the last video with Kendrick, you saw us completely changing the way that he engages with his owners on a lead. And from what was a pretty disaster scenario, worst case of his owner being dragged across the road, to now being able to have him safe and reliable on a lead, purely through positive implementation of a tool like a prong collar has completely changed his life. Now the next big problem, and it tends to be we're noticing a trend that this is the case. If you can help me stop my dog pulling, that's amazing. And then when you do that, if you can get them to come back to me when I ask them, that'd also be amazing. Now you've seen me start working this with Sandy, a golden retriever in a previous video, and you'll have noticed me using very kind of food, ward, food reward, positive based recall systems. Same situation here is that his recall of Kendrick Cum is dead now. We need to leave that and, and let it go and die a death. Too many times it's been ignored and that command has failed to try and repick that. So what we're going to do today is start the process of putting recall onto a whistle. And we're going to do it in a fashion that absolutely guarantees us success. Now you can see that I'm on my training lead and I've got it just so that I've got my for two finger slips. We're not giving him too much space in this first session and we have got him hooked up to his prong collar again. So again, prong collar is nice, high and tight. If you've seen the last video, you, can, you know this doesn't hurt him whatsoever. It's the only tool that kind of allows us any engagement. Now where this gets challenging with Kendrick is I can show it you with a Labrador or Sandy the Golden Retriever who is incredibly food driven and really eager to please makes it very easy. Now, what do you do when you've got a guard dog that has zero issue in toys and zero issue in food, uh, interest, sorry, in toys or food? It makes it much more of a challenge to get a reliable recall. Now, what we're gonna have to do is use more of a balanced approach to achieving that recall. And we're gonna be using his prong collar to start the process of him understanding. When I ask you to come, you need to come. There is no exception to that. Once we build that foundation of getting him to come to me and then I'm going to start associating two pips on a whistle means come to me. And then when you come to me, one of the few things that Kendrick really likes is physical praise. So what you're going to see is a 300 pound, six foot three man in the next few minutes rolling around on the floor with a dog to Bordeaux telling him how wonderful he is. But that's the only thing that really ramps him up and lets him know that he's going to done a good job. So very much a balanced protocol here. If I'm going to get, ask him to come to me, if he ignores me, I'm going to give him a little bit of pressure on the prong to direct him towards me. So if he ignores my recall command, I'm going to correct that. I'm then going to redirect him with energy and a little bit of pressure if need be. And then when he gets to me, we're going to reinforce it with one of the few things that is a good reinforcer for Kendrick, which is physical praise. And because recall is one of those things that should be done with high value rewards, because what I want him to understand is that when I ask you to come to me, if you ignore me, I'm going to correct that and let you know that that's not acceptable. But if you listen to me and come to me, then it's the best thing that's ever going to happen to you. And we need to get that balance, especially because he has zero food or play drive. And this is all he wants to do is guard, protect, be a mastiff, which is cool. Absolutely happy for him to do this, which is why we're on a loose lead. You crack on, mate. I actually think this is utterly glorious and one of the reasons I love mastiff so much. But we have to have the ability for him to be a wonderful dog to come to us when we ask him to, to be able to snap him out of this and let him know that there's a time and a place for this and it's not now. And what I need for you is to come to me now. So we're gonna go over where I've got a little bit more space. We're out in the paddock today because I'm very aware I'm gonna be rolling around on the floor and letting him know what a good boy he is. So a little bit of grass, oh, good boy, is helpful. So you can already see from the last video what a difference in his pulling is. So again, we're on one finger walking as opposed to where he was dragging me down the drive in our last session. And now what we want to do is start to build this process. So again, what we need to do is get a few reps of him coming to me and understanding the concept. If you ignore me, I'm going to correct that behavior. If you listen to me, it's gonna be the best thing in the world. So no more talking about it, we need to show it. So what I wanna do again, we don't need much space. Kendrick, come. Oh yes, oh good boy. Oh, good boy. Yes, good boy. Thank you, good boy. Oh, yes, good boy. Thank you. Oh, good boy. Yes. And then we're going to let him break. And then we're going to do that again. So, Kendrick, come. He's ignoring me. Yes. Oh, good boy. Oh, yes. Oh, good boy. Oh, thank you. Break. And letting him go. So, 
you will notice one of the things that's fascinating about Kendrick, especially for a Mastiff breed, is how nose-driven he is. And this is one of the issues that is causing it to be a challenge for his owners. Once he gets onto the scent of something, he becomes obsessed with it. And then any kind of engagement goes out the window. So again, what we need to let him know is I'm going to get him on the end of that scent. Kendrick, come. Oh, yes. Oh, good boy. Thank you. Oh, good boy. Oh, you are such a good puppy. Yes. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Yes. Oh, yes. Good boy. So that one was the best one. And you can see how excited he's getting because physical praise is one of the few things that really gets him driven and going. So I asked him to come. He made, <laughs> yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. So this kind of excitement is what I want. I want him to think that it's amazing to come to me. And then we're going to let him know that if you ignore it, then I'm going to have to challenge that. But if you just come to me, then the best things in the world are going to happen. So again, we're going to let him get a bit of space. Kendrick, come. Oh, yes. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Oh, yes. Break. Then we're going to give him a bit of space. And what we're going to do is just drill this over and over and over again with a, a shortish long line. Kendrick, come. Yes. Good boy. Oh, yes. Good boy. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good boy. Oh, yes. So he absolutely loves roughhousing. Kendrick, break. Let's talk about that one a little bit because that was a beautiful example of how it is that we're going to teach this behaviour through repetitions. That example was beautiful and what I might do is replay that as I'm talking through again exactly what happened. So I gave him the Kendrick Cum command, which I know his owners have put a lot of work in early days. So he does understand that it's a recall command, but he's become conditioned to whether he is allowed to ignore it or not. And he's about to trip our cameraman over because you are a strong boy. And he'd made the decision to ignore the command. And what you saw was we, me using a little bit of pressure on the prong collar. With some dogs, uh, you could use a slip lead for this. He's far too strong and far too nose driven to be able to get that desired response of snap out of it. Using that little bit of lead pressure was enough just for him to have that light bulb moment of, oh yeah, okay. And then he saw that I was ready to play, eager and waiting. And then he came to me with a pip in his step. And that's where I'm then rolling around on the floor like an idiot, telling him how amazing it is. But the more I'm working with Kendrick, the more I'm seeing that rough house play like that is a fantastic driver for him. How my Labrador Sully will do anything for a ball or a treat. That makes it easy because I can stand here and not have to do anything. With Kendrick, I'm going to have to get down and I'm going to have to give him that, especially for recall, to let him know that that's a great job. So what I'm going to do is do a few more reps of that and I'm not going to commentate it. We'll film it so you might see, we might speed it up or we might cut ahead because it's just going to be exactly what I've just done. He's giving him the command. If he ignores me, he's going to get a little pop just to remind him this way. When he makes the decision, all the pressure is gone. There's nothing happening on the prong whatsoever. And we're instantly back to boatloads of positive reinforcement in the form of getting down on the floor and doing a bit of rough housing with him. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we'll then start to associate that with the whistle. Kendrick, come. Oh, yes. Oh, good boy. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, good boy. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, you're such a good pooch. Oh, you're such a good pooch. You're so strong. You're so strong. Yes. Oh, thank you. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Yes. Kendrick, come. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, you're such a scary dog. Yes, oh, so scary. Oh, you're so scary. You are so scary. Oh, yes. Oh, you're so scary. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're such a big boy. Now, this is going to be it's a really good place to stop. This is going to be a natural byproduct of this training regime and will be a necessary evil for him to, uh, to achieve that level of recall. That's something that I'll get out of him after we've got perfect recall. But already, just from a little bit of me ignoring him, changing my body posture was enough to shut that jumping down. And you can see it's 
tiring work rolling around on the floor with a big old dog to Bordeaux. But again, we're just going to drill that and you can see he's already getting tired. It's very mentally taxing for a dog to be able to kind of shape and modify these behaviours. So we're going to probably have five more minutes here and we're going to start putting it on a whistle. This requires, I'm going to talk you through it first because it requires me to concentrate because timing is so cr critical. I'm going to get him coming towards me and then I'm going to put two pips on the whistle. But I'm only going to put the two pips on the whistle when I know he's already made the decision to come to me. What I, what, what I need to do is pair those two things. So the act of coming to me pairs with two pips on the whistle that so coming to me plus whistle equals amazing play times where that big bearded weirdo is going to roll on the floor with me and it's amazing with some dogs that might simply mean a bit of sausage for kendrick i'm again again gonna to have to do a bit of rough housing just to make it worth his while to listen we drill that over and over and again it's kind of like a a bit of pavlovian's theory how you can ring a bell and get a dog to salivate we can blow a whistle and get him so excited to come to me. So no more talking. Kendrick, come. Yes, oh, good boy. Oh, yes. Good boy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. And you're so scary. You are so scary. Yes. Oh, yes. Again, necessary evil from getting this excited. It'll be easy for me to turn this off. But this simple act of a little bit of body posture will be enough to bring it that energy down. But I like this, I, that he wants to play with me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that the same way a dog might want a reward. <laughs> he chasing leaves. I'm going to use that to pair with the whistle. So that thing that you really want and you're willing to jump up me and get, you're not going to get it if you're jumping up me. What you're going to get, you're going to get it only ever from now is he going to get that from me when he hears two pips on the whistle. So again, Kendrick, come. Yes! Oh, good boy! Oh, good boy! Oh, where have you gone? Oh, where have you gone? Yes! Oh, where have you gone? Oh, good boy! Yes! Oh, good boy! Oh, you're so clever! Oh, you're so clever! Oh, you're so clever! Then we're going to have to go through this process of calming him down. So you're not going to get it by behaving in this way. There's no need for me to correct that. Again, how quickly it's coming down automatically. And what I don't want to do is make this not fun. So if this was the only behaviour we were correcting, it would be easy to do. What I don't want to do is jeopardise our recall work. And it's very playful. It's not hurting at all. He's not being aggressive. It looks scary. But again, when you've been on the end of Rottweilers and Mastiffs that are actually trying to hurt you, this is <laughs> just goofy. He's just a goofy teenage boy. And again... I'm going to let him know, I know that's what you want, you're not going to get it now, but let's do another rep where I'm going to let you earn it. You don't get anything from me for free. If you want something, and the more you want something, the more you're going to have to do to get it from me. So again, I'm going to give him a bit of space, and already we're starting to get that, he's in tune. I want to let him, it'd be nice for him to be distracted by a leaf or something. But again, wonderful. This is starting to build off engagement and relationship now. Kendrick, let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, time for rough play. Oh, time for play. And you're getting so tired. And you're getting so tired. You are getting so tired. Oh, you're a big softy. You're such a big softy. Yes, you are. You're a big softy. And we're going to shut this off. Here comes the jump in. But again, this isn't how you get what you want from me. <laughs> oh, good boy. So that jumping will probably come now, although already he's learning. That's not how I get this. Patience, calm assertiveness, and it brings him down as well. So what I would like from this session is one more of those, then he needs to go for a sleep and bring that energy level down, and then we're gonna come out and do the same thing absolutely over again. So let's finish on a really good one and pay him with a jackpot play session, because I think I'm gonna need a sleep after this one as well. I might have to get in the crate with you, Kendrick. Kendrick, let's go. Yes! Oh, good boy. Oh, you are getting tired. Oh, you're getting tired. Oh, you're getting tired. Hey? Oh, you like belly rubs. Oh, you like belly rubs. Oh, are we best friends? I'm the big mean dog trainer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, good boy. And that's it. 
Simple, find what drives your dog more than anything and put a barrier to entry in front of that thing. For him to get this, he needs to wait until he hears two pips on this whistle and you can have this from me, but I'm not gonna give you this for free. You're gonna have to earn it. And that's the basis of kind of all our relationships. Now, normally this behavior for a dog for food reward could be good manners. It could be sitting, wait, anything that you want. Just put a barrier to entry behind it and we'll get you there, won't we, buddy? Yes, we will. You are a lovely dog. You are a lovely dog. What's this? <laughs> yes, good boy. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, we're gonna do a follow-up with my mate Kendrick here and we'll show you how this eventually will get him going from paddock side to paddock side, all because he wants to play with me. So again, using a little bit of pressure on the prong just to remind him that ignoring me isn't acceptable. But as soon as you get over that, then we go straight back to positive relationships and having a wonderful time, don't we, buddy? And that's the joy of proper dogs like this, aren't you? So yeah, subscribe if you like it and we'll see you on the next video.